Welcome to Gray on Mat. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a blue circle with a radius of 4 units and a yellow circle with a radius of 1 unit. And uh, this blue circle overlaps this uh, uh, right triangle ABC with uh, uh, the blue, blue sides. Uh, and uh, this uh, yellow circle is inside this. Uh, uh, blue triangle and uh, uh, this yellow circle is tangent at E and F on the sides of the right triangle and also tangent to a point uh, with the blue circle and uh, we are required to find the length of uh, AC one leg of this uh, uh, right triangle Okay, so first uh, that I want you to notice is that uh, the two circles are actually mutually tangent at point H. So we can actually draw a straight line from uh, the center of the yellow circle uh, passing through this point of tangency to this uh, center of the blue circle. And we can actually also draw another segment from this uh, center of the yellow uh, circle downwards and uh, we form a smaller uh, right triangle this should be perpendicular and uh, since uh, this uh, length en is 1 and this uh, segment uh, co is 4 so we can actually deduct this uh, one unit segment so this becomes actually uh, uh, already 3 and if we take into consideration the radius of these uh, two circles, uh, this uh, for the yellow it is 1, this uh, NH should be 1, and this uh, HO should be uh, 4. And therefore the total, uh, the total length of this uh, resulting uh, hypotenuse of this uh, right triangle is uh, 5. So, as you can see, we have already uh, two sides of this uh, right triangle, the newly formed uh, right triangle. And uh, there is a uh, missing uh, length, which is the longer leg. So, let's label this point as uh, uh, J. So, this point. So, J. So, we are next, next we are to find this uh, NJ. Okay. So, notice that. Uh, we have uh, we our next uh, step is to find this uh, nj so uh, if we find nj we can we already par uh, found the part of the part of this uh, segment ac so by pythagorean theorem because this is actually a uh, right triangle so we can say that this nj is equal to the square root of uh, uh, this n o square uh, minus this uh, o j o square so n j is equal to n o square is 5 square minus this uh, uh, 3 square j o so this becomes nj is equal to 25 minus 9. So nj is equal to square root of uh, 16. And nj is equal to 4 units. Okay, so our next goal is to find the segment uh, AE. So AE is part of the segment AC that we are looking for and we already found uh, uh, this segment uh, NJ uh, which is also equal to EC okay so EC okay so uh, we should find this AE for next okay so I want you to notice that uh, this uh, uh, point on A is actually the 
intersection of the two tangents uh, at this of this yellow circle a e and a f so if they intersect at this uh, point a so these two segments are equal okay so if this is actually a then this is a also and if you draw a line from this point a to the center of this yellow circle and uh, we form actually uh, two small uh, right triangles okay so these two segments are congruent uh, af and ae and these radius are congruent uh, en and the n f n and also this uh their common length here is a uh, uh, congruent so by uh, a triple s or sss uh, congruence theorem these two triangles are actually congruent and uh, with that congruence uh, we can say that also uh, these angles are actually uh, the same so if this is alpha uh, then this angle is also alpha okay so notice that uh, uh, the, with reference to this angle at a the alpha and the alpha uh, the opposite side is actually uh, the diameter of the blue circle so the diameter is actually i mean these are already available so available is the radius and the diameter so this is actually also for the opposite side with respect to this angle at a and the adjacent side is also available so this is already uh, four units okay and uh, we all we all uh, me i mean we all just need to find this uh, segment a and uh, since the opposite and the adjacent are actually uh, involved in this uh, scenario so it is uh, i think it is best that we use the tangent of uh, tangent of um, alpha uh, the double angle double angle identity ta for tangents okay so if you focus on this uh, this uh, tri triangle here uh, uh, tangent alpha is equal to the opposite over the adjacent and that is a uh, 1 over a and uh, if you focus on this uh, 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 whole triangle the triangle ABC uh, this is for uh, triangle AEN so let's write this as AEN if you focus on this triangle ABC uh, tangent uh, 2 alpha is equal to the uh, opposite is uh, 8 so 4 plus 4 over the adjacent which is a uh, uh, 4 plus a so this uh, length uh, ac so adjacent is 4 plus a so we already have this uh, a representation for tangent and tangent to alpha okay so recalling the formula for uh, uh, tangent and um, double angle identical double angle identities so we have here uh, tangent 2 alpha 2 alpha is equal to 2 2 tangent of alpha all over 1 minus tangent of uh, square alpha uh, but uh, we can actually represent this uh, tangent of square alpha as tangent square of alpha is equal to 1 over a square we could just square this uh, 1 over a okay so uh, if we have that then tangent to alpha is already 8 all over uh, 4 plus a 
is equal to 2 times uh, tangent of alpha which is uh, 1 over a all over this uh, 1 minus uh, tangent square alpha is uh, 1 over a square okay so we can already cancel this out so this becomes a uh, 4 so we have here a 4 over 4 plus a is equal to 2 I mean uh, 1 over a already all over this we just need to copy this 1 over a all over this uh, a square divided by 1 is uh, a square so times 1 so this becomes a square minus this uh, a square divided by a square is 1 times 1 so that will be 1 so we can cancel this a and this and uh, we just copy this 4 over 4 plus a is equal to this is already a 1 and we invert this uh, on the denominator so a all over uh, a square minus 1 this there is actually 1 here okay and we just cross multiply so we have uh, 4 times a square minus 1 is equal to a times 4 plus a oh so next is we simplify by distributing so we have here uh, 4 if we continue 4 a square minus 4 is equal to 4 a um, plus a square so if you subtract here this a square negative a square and the uh, negative uh, minus 4a and we subtract here minus 4a so we have here uh, 3a square okay minus 4a minus 4 and this actually cancels out it's equal to zero and we are to solve this resulting quadratic equation okay so to solve this resulting uh, quadratic equation so since there is a uh, the numerical coefficient of the second degree term is not one but three so we need to multiply this first this uh, three to the third term so this becomes a square minus 4a minus uh, 12 is equal to 0 and we can actually factor this out and we have here uh, a minus 6 because it is a negative here at the middle uh, uh, middle term so minus 6 and a plus 2 so to have 12 negative 12 but uh, the middle term is uh, negative so neg the great the, num the number with the the greater number should be the negative one so it's equal to zero and since we multiplied by three we just need to divide by three okay so we have uh, a minus two times uh, this uh, next is we since the, this 2 is not divisible by 3 so we need to put this uh, 3 beside a so 3a plus 2 is equal to 0 okay so we actually found two solutions so one is uh, a minus 2 is equal to 0 and the other one is uh, 3a plus 2 is equal to 0 and the first one is a is equal to 2 and the second one is a uh, uh, we put this a uh, 2 to the right hand side so this becomes negative 2 and uh, divide by 3 so a over 3 a is the uh, negative 2 turn for the second instance okay so 
since uh, there there is no there is no negative distance so this value with the positive uh, sign that we got should be the only valid answer and this is invalid so a is 2 Okay, so for the final step, since we already have the value for this, the parts of AC, so AC is equal to AE plus EC, and AC is equal to AE, which is equal to A, plus EC, which is equal to NJ. Okay, so AC equal to a which has the value of 2 and for nj as we have got earlier nj is 4 so the value of ac is equal to 6 units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.